Hey, in this demonstration of Site Recovery Manager with Pure Storage Active DR, I'm going to show how to run a test recovery process with Site Recovery Manager to Active DR protected data stores. So in our environment, we have a pod with a replica link to a secondary pod. The source side is promoted, meaning it's being used. And the target side is demoted, meaning that it is currently write disabled. It can only be read from if, if presented. So let's kick off a test recovery with replicate recent changes. So the first step is to replicate any of the latest changes over to that target side. So we make sure the recovery point on that target side is past that replication point in time. Then the target side gets promoted, making the volumes from the latest point in time on the replicated target available to the hosts. The SRA then connects those volumes Resignatures them, powers on the VMs. As you can see, the data store has been automatically connected to this host group that represents the cluster on my recovery site. The VMs will then be registered and powered on wherever their placeholders were, and you can confirm that your test worked. So let's go back and let's clean up the test recovery process. But let's run it again with some slight changes to show some of the things that ActiveDR can actually do. So the cleanup process takes that target side, restores the VMware environment, and demotes that target pod. The, the demotion of the target pod resets that target environment so it can be promoted again and reused with whatever the latest point in time is on that recovery site, and all the volumes within that pod are automatically disconnected to where they were connected to for the recovery process. So let's make a slight change in our environment. One of the things that ActiveDR does is it not only replicates your data, but also the configuration of your volumes. So let's add a new configuration. Let's set a volume bandwidth limit of 1 gig per second. And apply that using the Pure Storage plugin for the vSphere client. Submit that change. And we'll refresh our screen here. And under the Flash Array tab, we'll see that the 1 gig a second volume bandwidth limit is there. So let's kick off a test now that we have that configuration. So the replication, the synchronization that occurs right here, is not only replicating that data, but any changes made on that source pod. So the creation of new volumes, new snapshots, or changes in volume configuration, like QoS. This will synchronize the changes, and it will go through the same process of promoting that target pod and all the volumes within it. And then it will automatically connect the appropriate volumes to the host groups. So the VMs will be registered on that particular data store and powered on. If we take a look at my recovered data store on my target site, we'll see that that QoS limit that was set of 1 gig per second is indeed configured and listed via the plugin snapshot um, panel on the data store. Now that the test is complete, or we're completed with our test and we've confirmed it's worked, we can wait for the remaining VMs to boot and so forth, confirm the test, and run another cleanup. This is one of the important features of ActiveDR. It's not just about RPO of the data, but also of the configuration of your environment, allowing the environment to be recovered in the exact state and configuration it was before the failover. And that's a really cool feature of ActiveDR. Thanks for watching.